Hello again. It's time for another of our Thursday updates, and as you well know, the President of our country has already extended the social distancing guidelines through the end of April. And so it appears that it will be a few weeks before we are able to gather again corporately as a church. But I do want to remind you that we've been preparing you for this. And what I mean by that is one of the reasons we gather faithfully as a church week after week is to lay the biblical foundations for our lives so that when difficult times come, we are ready for them. For example, we've been teaching you about the sovereignty of God. We've told you time and time again that God is in control of all things, that nothing takes Him by surprise, and therefore He is still on His throne. And while we may not understand the purposes or reasons behind His actions, we can trust that He is in control, has our good in mind, and is doing all things for His own glory. We've talked to you about the suffering of believers. In fact, in spite of what some others might teach, We've told you that suffering is the lot of all believers in some form or fashion. That is, we are not promised an easy road once we accept Christ by faith. In fact, quite the opposite. God has said in His Word repeatedly that because Christ suffered, we can expect the same kind of treatment. And though the form of our suffering has taken us by surprise, nobody saw this virus having this kind of effect. The fact of suffering should not surprise us. We've talked about the sufficiency of Christ, meaning that our relationship with Him is all we need, and that everything else pales in comparison. Whether that be other relationships, which of course have been put on hold, we're seeing how important that is to be around other people and how much we miss that, and yet it has not changed our relationship with Christ. The same goes for our career, and oftentimes the purpose we find in it our jobs have been temporarily halted in many cases, and therefore people are struggling with meaning. And we are reminded that our meaning and purpose is in Christ, not our careers. And certainly we could say the same thing about our possessions and our wealth. We've sung often and seen in Scripture how our money or our resources are not our primary focus. And that's being put to the test as well. In fact, in all of these areas, we are having to put into practice the things we've learned through the years. And I hope you see that and are doing that. I do want to remind you of a couple of things. Uh, number one, I want to thank you for your continued giving. Many of you have mailed in an offering or gone online and done that. Some of you have stopped by and, of course, kept your distance, but you stopped by nevertheless. And so I want to thank you that we're able to stay open and continuing to minister even in different ways, but continuing nevertheless because of your faithfulness in giving. I also want to let you know that Aaron and Rachel are on their way. Even as I speak, they are on their way to East Tennessee. Uh, they are moving today. They're going to move in temporarily with Aaron's family in Bristol, and then he'll be with us working here next week. In fact, hopefully on this video next week, we'll have Aaron as a guest surprise. And then finally, you know, even in times of crisis, there are always critics. And I do have a few critics. You know who you are. And they've been saying that I don't smile enough on these videos. So for you critics, here's your answer. <laughs>